A very good morning, yes, and what a beautiful morning it is, Friday the 29th of January 2021. Oh, what a beautiful morning, because it's Friday, and Friday mornings are always beautiful because it's the end of the week, and here's your last lesson on that wonderful whoopee-doo-doo of an English rule, contractions. Yes, this is where the apostrophe comes into its own. But making sure we put it in the right place when we're contracting two words to become like one word and where the apostrophe shows where the letter is missing. So let's go through what we're going to be doing today. First of all, our wilfs. What am I looking for? Well, bronzes, you need to write the given words into their contracted form. Just check my volume, sorry. Uh, and their expanded form. Okay, so you need to write the words given to you into their contracted form as well as their expanded form. So you've got to work them both ways from one to the other and the other way around. Silver, to write the sentences changing the expanded form into their contracted form. So you've got to actually put some actual... Uh, you've got to create your own sentences to include the um, contracted words that you've already been given. So you'll see what I mean when you see the worksheet, but it is it's quite simple. And gold, to write the paragraph, adding in the missing apostrophes. Challenge, just to write your own sentences that must obviously include contracted words. Okie dokie, let's have a little look here. Can we match... The contracted to the expanded. I'd like you to pause the video here and see if you can write this word to then give the expanded form of it. Okay, so have a little go. Pause here. Do it. You can rattle this off in a couple of minutes. Away you go. Right, let's see how you did. I'll get my pen out. And let's have a little go. I'll use red today. Can't, hmm, cannot, there you go, I'll, I uh, short for I will, brilliant, shouldn't, he shouldn't have done that, the naughty boy, shouldn't is uh, should not, there you go, uh, I haven't got a penny on me, I haven't got a penny, I have not got a penny on me. They've becomes they have. That's quite a meaty contraction because they've knocked off the H and the A. And sheared, I mean, talk about knocking out a load of letters. Sheared was she would. So she would have come to the party if she'd been invited, uh, but she wasn't. Which, uh, which was a shame. Anyway, okay, that's that. Let's move on. Hopefully you got all those right. Is there any there that we didn't do? Nope, all of them are matched. Wonderful. Onwards and upwards, my friends. Here we go. Right then, our model of bronze for you. So here we have aren't and would not. What we need to do, get back to my... Arrow. Here we go. Good. Uh, what is aren't before it's contracted? When you expand it out, it is in fact... Oh, it's not moving for me now. Are not. Okay. And would not is wouldn't. Okay. Now, it is really important that we learn... Um, we learn which, oh, oh, hello, there we go, I'm covering them all up. It is important that we remember, oh, and now it's gone completely, but anyway, it's important that you remember how to go between going from an expanded to a contracted and contracted to an expanded. Now, the bronze task, you are going to have this sheet that you can download um, or copy straight into your book, and I'm going to very quickly show you this activity. Okay, so here's the bronze activity. Um, you've got this sheet, and if you scroll through, even if you don't print this off, you don't need to print this off because you can see it here, you just need to copy into your book what the correct uh, word should be. So this is our expanded side, this is our contracted side, and you've got to basically go 
uh, fill in the missing blank. So the first one is done for you, are not becomes aren't. So you now have to think, right, well, I haven't got the word here, but I've got my contracted form, so what's this short for? What is the expanded version? Well, you've got a bit of a clue up above, haven't you? And all you have to do is write it there. All right, so it's that simple. Literally, go through the sheet looking for the missing blanks and turn either the expanded version into a contracted or turn the contracted into an expanded and you've really got to learn these, so do what you can. Now, when you finish that, there are some sentences here at the bottom, and they are incorrect. They are not done properly. The apostrophes have been missed out or put in the wrong places. So have a little go at just solving those two sentences. And bronze, that is your task done. Okay, so that's your task. Have a little go, and away you go. Uh, don't save that. Get rid of that. Okay, going back on silver. Now, move this out of the way. Silver, you need to change the expanded form and then write sentences actually using them. Okay, so did not becomes didn't. Then it says, I didn't know how old Mr. Hamlin was until I asked him. And he said, 21, which of course we all heartily laughed about because... We knew it wasn't true. Okay, so that's the sentence there. Don't tell Mr. Hamlin I said that. Okay. Um, don't start emailing him about that or saying that Mr. Davy was mean about his age. He's a young man, very young man. Uh, so here's an example of what it needs to look like. And in fact, let's go to the document. This is the silver activity. So again, you are given all of these. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven to do. Okay, and you need to change them from uh, the expanded into the contracted. Now, when you've done that, and that won't take you, that should only take you a couple of minutes, and look out for the will not. That's a tricky one. Uh, you then need in here to write the sentence that in, uses the contracted version of the word. So we just said about Mr. Hamlin and his age. I didn't know how old Mr. Hamlin was till I asked him. So you just take the contracted version and you put that into your own sentence that you write. So you'll just be writing 11 sentences for each of the 11 contracted words that you've created. All right, so that's the silver activity. And that's not too complicated. And finally, gold. Now, you need to find the words which could be contracted using an apostrophe. You're going to copy a story into your book. And as you come to the words that you have found, contract them and use an apostrophe. And then you need to underline the contracted words. So, for par exemple, which is French for, for example. See, we're in the middle of an English lesson and I'm chucking in some French as well. Now, yesterday, I went to the supermarket with my brother, but we were not allowed to buy fizzy drinks. My mum said that she did not think that we needed any more this weekend. Well, 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 what do we have here? I've spotted me some cheeky little expanded words. I think we need to put these into contracted form. So we've got ourselves, we're not, and that will become weren't, okay? So the apostrophe will go in, you knock off the bits you don't need, and you rewrite it. Okay, so you the first thing I would do, and I'll show you the sheet in a moment, and there's the other one, did not. I'll underline that to make the point. That's another one that you'll need to do. So, get rid of that. Okay, so here's the gold activity, and I'll take you to it. That's underneath the silver. So if you've downloaded this off, offline, you've got the gold activity, just scroll down. So, gold activity, did not can be shortened to didn't. You need to find the words in here. So here is a story. It's not the one that I did in the example. Um, you have got a different one to do. So I would go through like I did, underline the ones where you think, aha, there is uh, some two words that I can contract to by using an apostrophe. So underline it first and then copy it out using um, the, exp uh, the contracted form, not the expanded form, okay? Uh, there's also, if you want to challenge, there's also some words, that, especially the it's, 
And this is a tricky one. It's an it's. Now there's an it's where you don't need to use an apostrophe, but there is an it's where you do need to use an apostrophe. So for example, it's tail uh, was long and fluffy. People think, oh, I need an apostrophe. And then if I move away, yes, good. Word has noted this is not correct. Why? Because the it's is referring to the monkey. Remember, if you put an apostrophe in for it's, okay, you will know if it's correct to, as a contracted version of it is or it has by just speaking that out. So, for example, my brother's favourite animal was the biggest monkey. It is tail was long. So if there was an apostrophe there, it's either short for it is or it has. Now, if you put that in and said it and said, right, well, I'm going to expand that and I'm going to say it is tail. Well, hold on. Well, maybe not it is. It has tail. Right, but it has tail. No, that doesn't work. So we know that actually ITS doesn't need any apostrophe because it's is the monkey. It's like instead of saying monkey again, you put it. So no apostrophe needed there, but that's another story. So have a little read through um, and see what you can uh, find. I cannot wait. Mm, there's one. That's one there. All right, look, I'm going to highlight it. Boom. And you put it into can't. I can't wait. All right, so have a read through, underline when you first, uh, when you find them and rewrite this into your English book. Okie doke. Right then. And challenge. As we said in the Wilfs, you just need to write your own sentences using contractions, adjectives, and a range of punctuation. So I tell you what, if you really want to go for it and impress your teacher today when you send your work in on Teams, whether it's to me or Mrs. Um, yeah, you know, if you're in Kilmar, Trawartha, Bearer, send them in, impress your teacher. Really go for it. And even if do you know what, even if you only wrote one sentence that was your own creation, that's still amazing and you've still completed challenge. So there you go, team. That was your week on contractions. I really hope you've learned them uh, and remembered them. Uh, it's so, so important, but I'm sure you will have done a great job. So have a great weekend. Well done for getting through to Friday. And we will see you all again, bright and perky, on Monday morning. Take good care. Bye.